Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to zoom in InShot. It's pretty quick and simple, so let's jump in. There's a couple of different ways to do it, and I'm gonna walk you through both of them. The first thing you need to do is create a video by hitting on video, and then hit new. Then you wanna go ahead and click on the video that you want to make, so I'll just use this five second clip and hit the check mark. Now, the first thing to do if you want to just do a quick jump cut zoom, all you really have to do is find the place where you want to zoom in. So let's say I want this video. First, I'll just change the background really quick so it's easier to see. Um, so the first thing you want to do is to find the place where you want to zoom. So say after a couple of seconds, I want to zoom in here. I'm just going to hit split. And then from here, I'm going to go over to canvas. I'm going to hit zoom. And then I'm going to zoom in. I'm gonna hit that check mark when I like it. And this is what it's gonna zoom right when it passes that. And then if I wanted to bring it back to normal, I can hit that split again, go back to canvas, and I can zoom back out. There we go, X. So then it'll just be a couple of seconds zoom and I'll zoom in and zoom out. Now that's the first like jump cut zoom just by going to the place you want it and changing the frame size basically in Canvas. The second way is to do um, some keyframes. So if I put hit this plus sign really quick and I add a black background, it doesn't really matter what background, but if I add this black background and then I hit this pip button, it's gonna bring up all my videos again and you choose the video, the main video you want. So I'll just choose this video and I can pull it so I can size it the way I want to. And PIP works the same as a sticker, so you can keyframe it to make it bigger or smaller. So once I'm at the beginning or where I want to start the zoom process, I find that in the video. Say I don't want to start until here. Then I'm going to hit the keyframe button right here. It places a keyframe. Then I can scoot over by sliding my finger over to where I want it to zoom, the zoom to end. Once I find the, where I want it to end, I use my fingers on the picture itself to zoom where I want to zoom in on. So say I just want to zoom in all the way to all the drinks. And then I can slide my finger on the picture again at the bottom, on the timeline, and I can squeeze it back out if I wanted to do that, or I can leave it zoomed in. Basically, the keyframes tell your... Um, hello, hello. Basically, your keyframes tell your image where to go. So now that we keyframed it, you can see that it goes zoomed in and zoomed out. And that's about it. If you guys have any questions on that, let us know in the comments below. If not, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe.